So the industry is going to be moving to a new type of delivery of programs and that's file delivery. So Productions will be delivering an AS11 DPP file. That's a digital file that's going to replace the tapes that they've been used to delivering for the last few years. And it kind of makes sense that throughout the delivery chain, at the moment, we're digital when we shoot, we're digital when we edit, all on files, and we output it to a tape, and we deliver it to a broadcaster who ingests the tape, and then broadcasts the file. So what we're doing is we're taking the tape out of that part of the, the process. And so for productions, that means there's a number of things they have to think about. Firstly, they have to think about the metadata that they're going to add to that file, so the title, the series description, uh, and that's all available on the DPP website, the extra information you're going to have to deliver out of your edit. The second thing they have to think about is a new type of audio mixing and that's called loudness or R128 and that's a new way of mixing your program audio. It replaces the PPMs that you've used in the past and it's about creating an average sound measure for the whole of the program. So that means that we're going to have more consistent sound across the whole of the schedule so viewers won't be reaching for their remote controls and turn the volume up and down for different programs. The new processes that we're also introducing are an automatic quality control check, an AQC check, and that replaces the tech review. And this is a computer process where you take your program that's finished, you put it through this process and it checks for any technical faults that are going to make the program not play back properly or might cause harm to our viewers, which is obviously something we don't want to do. So for example, it checks for photosensitive epilepsy and that's something that each program maker will have to check their program before they deliver to a broadcaster. In tandem with that, they need to take, undertake an eyeball check as well. And this is an editorial check of the program. It means the producer will have to watch the whole program back when it's finished, ideally in the edit suite and in good viewing conditions, to make sure the program's ready to be broadcast. And so that's going to be looking for any spelling errors or any editorial or compliance issues that shouldn't go to air. Once it's signed off at that point, it then needs to be delivered to a broadcaster. And that's going to be using a file acceleration tool, a piece of software that will transfer the file from your edit suite into the broadcaster. And there are a number of different providers that provide those. But that's about, instead of giving your tape to a courier and having it delivered to the broadcaster, now you're delivering a file, an AS11 DPP file, that's quite big, it's 50 gigabytes for an hour, over a secure network, and so you can get a receipt when it's arrived. And again, there's a range of facilities houses who can help you with that delivery. So, all in all, there's going to be some changes with file delivery. But actually, there's lots of people out there that can help with you. There's lots of information available via the DPP and their producer's guide. And there's lots of videos available via the BBC Academy. It's one of those things that it feels like such a big deal because it's change. And everyone's a little bit scared of change. But it, I think in a year, people will forget that we probably went through this change entirely. The biggest implication for production companies is just going to be what are they going to do with those files, their master content, when they've got that back. So, you know, what, what are we going to do? How are we going to archive it? How are we going to find it? And how are we going to fund that if we're not getting that extra money from broadcasters? And so I don't think it's going to be the technicalities of delivering it. It's just going to be what are we as producers going to do with that content and how are we going to manage it? And that's what we need to find a resolution to.